Um, I don't really have a lot to say about this painting. I did have a concept sketch, sort of. It was mostly like stick figure-ish that I did go off of. I didn't exactly execute the idea the way I pictured it in my head, but I'm not disappointed with it, and I might attempt to revisit it, but at the same time, I'm not really a revisitor. Um, but yeah, no, I'm happy with it. Um, this is continuing my mental health series that is still currently untitled. I don't really have a name for it. I do plan on making a playlist once I have more videos and like a more developed concept. And I kind of hate to like backtrack because my thoughts aren't super cohesive. So this is sort of a byproduct of that. But like with Scarred by Illusion, I remember something that I read. I want to say it was in my psychology textbook about how mental like emotional trauma can be as painful based off like the neurotransmitters as physically being harmed so when people say the sticks and stones may break my bones but words will never hurt you type of thing it's a fat ass lie because psychology just proves that and that mental things can be, I think, more damaging and, like, slightly more long-lasting sort of trauma. Because, like, PTSD and type of things, you know? Like, I mean, I guess kind of parallels, like, phantom pain and things like limb amputation. But it's not as... That was just something that popped in my mind that I wish I'd brought up when I first talked about my reintroducing Scarred by Illusion and, like, my psychology stuff. The first time, I kind of just want to retrace my steps on, I guess, my influences in deciding to do this mental health series. And since I don't have anything etched in stone, I don't have, like, a solid direction to build off of. I do have my ideas, like, written down, but I'm just, like, making it up as I go. There's a video that Vice did with Kim Noble, who has DID, and I was really moved by the video. Because I felt like I was able to kind of see, like, my own connection to art represented in that way. I don't have DID, though. Like I said, I have, like, a panic disorder, generalized anxiety. Uh, autism spectrum isn't a disorder. It's a neuro, neuro, uh, condition, whatever. What the fuck is it called? Can't remember. Um... Ch yeah, C childhood PTSD type of thing. So it's not the same, but, like, I kind of saw, like, myself reflected and I saw, like, how powerful, like, art therapy could be. And though at the time I wasn't certain about pursuing art therapy, I'm still not. It just, like, really validated, like, my personal connection and, like, how underrated I think art is, I guess. That's, I guess, like, perspective on how you see it but for me I was like wow regardless of who it is that a person identifies within like the media or like the public if that person is open about their struggles and like their mental illness it makes that person more personable and like I don't know more down to earth in a way and for me those people were like Marina formerly like Marina and the Diamonds. I don't ever know how to introduce that. I don't know. I don't know how to say it to people. Um, but like with her, I remember there was an interview where she said that she, well, I read it. I want to say it was right after she released Fruit. And it's interesting because she studied psychology herself. Like, I think off and on. Um, but she said like she couldn't separate her personality from like being depression. Like she thought it was just part of her personality. And I think with people that have mental illness though she's never did, did like disclosed really what hers was or like what she really struggled with which is fine that's perfectly fine for me I don't really care too much but um I think that's really common for people I lost track of what I was saying I think that's really common for people with mental illness or like once people have been diagnosed with something that they kind of like lose sight of themselves like who they were before who they were experiencing things before it was easier to like dismiss but now that you have like a name for it in a way I think it can be a bit more debilitating like oh my god there's this and then you can kind of like blame it for everything but at the same time you can be like it really 
like makes you question your judgment of like is this me being me or is this that and is this like a combination and that's something that I talk about with my own therapist kind of where, like with my um autism like am I like this because I am autistic or am I just this way as a person or like did my autism come about from like environmental things mixed with biological things and I kind of think for some people and like myself it's probably a mixture of biological things and like environmental things it's not to say that that is how autism works but like with my other mental illnesses as well I do think that's kind of how it worked where it was like I was kind of already this way and then other things and people and environments I was placed into and within Marine and the Diamonds who I did like I'm really into researching things which is like I said in a, another video that I want to go into research of like whatever psycho psychology field I probably would like research autism but at the same time like uh autism when I'm autistic. When I researched Marina the Diamonds, Marina the Diamonds named Fiona Apple as one of her influences and Fiona Apple was like super duper like introversion like lyrically that's what they call it now at least in the music reviews that I've read they're like oh when people talk about like their mental health and stuff they're like oh this ultra introversion um and then also Banks the singer Banks also named I think Fiona Apple as one of her influences and I'm like I think that those that people who are open about like their mental illnesses are like super duper good for other people who might have like mental struggles because it's validating of like it being okay it doesn't make it as bad though it does still create like a level of otherness which is another sort of topic which connects into a feeling that I don't think a lot of people with mental illness necessarily address but it's like the feeling of being around mentally well people who can't necessarily relate to being unmentally well if you get what I'm saying which is a feeling it's really strange because you're like oh you know like I mean you're aware of it but when you're around other people who are like normal or like good functioning it's like wow this is weird. I'm a little out of place here. 